Greetings everyone, Shannon here for another episode. Now today we have the urgent quest that's gonna put us in level 7 star quests. Now the Nargakuga, the high level Nargakuga, that's why I'm bringing my chainsaw with me. He does seem to dislike thunder, although his major weakness is actually fire, but it's a difference of minus 4 to minus 3, so it's the strongest weapon I can make for this guy and wait wait okay a bulldrome now what should I do with you I'm gonna kill you that could get quite irritating if he interrupts me in the middle of an Arga fight so guess I'll just have to start this episode by fighting a bulldrome where are my cats oh crap I just come here without my cats. Actually, that's a good thing. Maybe I did it on purpose and don't remember. Having a cat in a very time coordinated fight is awful. For example, if you're fighting a bear off and your cats cross you, well, you know what happens. Now, this guy's ability is very annoying. He just keeps running around. Uh, and he crosses you, it's quite annoying because if he was aiming at you, you might have a better chance of evading him. Same thing with an Arga. I'm gonna be dodging most of his attacks. So I really don't want my cats interrupting me. And the Arga except for distracting and stuff. Where are you going my friend? I'm not just gonna let me leave. Fail. Come on. There you go. And still okay. Okay. Wait, you're already dead. Wow. Dead in two minutes. Now that's a new bulldrome killing record. Hey! Stupid bull fangs. Now, you might be wondering what, what this chainsaw is. Lumber Ruin. It's a uh, end level and evolution sword, so there's no upgrade from it. It's very awesome, actually. Took me bear of claws and lots of Genoga materials. Normal, normal Genogas. Haven't we haven't faced the high level one yet? Uh, but I actually found something interesting. The last Genoga I faced did one of those animations where you get stuck and you can only get out with a dung bomb, like the one that the Giganox has. I think it turns out almost every single one of them has one. For the Oashura, for example, I fought the Oashura, let's say like 20, 30 times, but he did it once, the second one I, I fought, and after that, he never did it in the Nargus right behind me. Well, not those early supplies, I thought it would take at least 5 minutes for them to get here. Guess I was wrong about that. Let me just show you my skills. It was two concentration and item use up. I just focus on getting the evade plus two for to be able to do this. Evade plus two really is the biggest enemy an Arga could can have. And combine with a long sword. I just love fighting this guy with a long sword so much. I wouldn't want to fire him any other way. If I had a chance. One thing though, don't even think about trying to kill this guy with a gun lance or lance. That's the worst possible weapon you can use. Probably should have healed myself right after that drone encounter. No. Ok, 
Okay, just one more potion. Here we go. All better. Yes. I don't even know why they they give him give him this attack. It really fails a lot. It's really worth be hit by that. That one's quite annoying. I just love dodging this guy. So fun. Ah, failed to dodge this. The Narukuga really is my favorite mon monster in all of Monster Hunter. I just have so much fun evading this guy. Okay, sound was a bit weird there. It looked like it stopped for a moment. That was unfair. Didn't give me much chance. Sharpness is this? Okay, green sharpness, so no need for Wheatstone yet. <laughs> Nicely dodged. Okay, now there's need for a Wheatstone, definitely. Although I, I should probably leave this area since I don't have any. Screw you. Probably could just block my way out of here. Don't have any grinder skill. I had to take out feeling grinder so that I could have place for the all the evade jewels I have here. If I plus one, it's kind of worthless. If you ask me. If I plus 2 gives a lot of time to be able to dodge, but as a plus 1, not not really enough for you to be able to base your entire fighting style on it. Now, where are you going? Okay. I guess we can catch him on, a, on his way down. We're gonna catch him on his way down. Ah. Now! Hey! That's something that worries me. Sometimes, sporadically, like one in each 10 or each 20 times, he does that jump to the side or to the back thing and immediately jumps right at you. And that, that's really almost impossible to evade. You can try to do... to do... No, that, walk right into that one. Uh, you can try to do a fight with this guy without getting hit, but that thing will almost always catch you off guard. That's why occasionally when this guy jumps back, uh, I immediately jump to the side. Are you expecting that? I really shouldn't. Since he uses it so... See? Now he just did it, I think. Okay. This has got me trapped in the corner there. Okay. Oh crap. I knew there was a bull drone that would have just le le left the area. Bulldog with Bullfanger, that's it. Come on, get out! And two more. This love this chain, so... Look at the way that it's actually animated, so the chains go around. Love all these teams. Weapons like the pumpkin pumpkin hammer. Going to area nine. Why did I paint this guy? Is that right when I saw him? Must have been. Now oh, this reminds me of a lot. This is usually the area where I can dish out the most damage to this guy. 
when he gets here he usually starts getting exhausted. Tail, tail, wanna hit him in the tail. Didn't get the tail spikes yet. Didn't get any of his breaks yet. Mm -hmm. The eye is so easy to get. There's the eye. See? Th just thought it is roll. That was definitely went wrong. Gotcha. Hey, thank you. I was just aiming at, you, at your tail. I'm starting to get words. I'm pretty damn sure the sharpness is about to go to yellow any moment now, so. No break, just stagger. Whoa! Okay, that was wrong range. Want your tail? No! Not like that! There's an exit here. Yes, yes, there's an exit. else I've been for uh, I've been using this gear this, this armor to I had to hunt down what is for yeah for for Genogus to make this weapon I needed those mega thunderbirds and now is my biggest chance of them all so I exhausted tail damn it But I sharpen this, so that when I fix him, the sharpness doesn't go back to yellow. This one, yeah. Okay, the tail will be facing this way. Yes. Tail spike's gone. Oh, also, one thing, the Narga Kuga's tail can now be cut without him being in rage mode. I noticed that right when I faced him first. Crap, he's no longer exhausted. Yep, definitely not no longer exhausted. Damn it. Jump this in. Jump, 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 jump. Ah. Okay, gotta get three hits in. One, two. Damn it! He's out of the map, isn't he? Yeah, he's out of the map. Stop cheating! So we're gonna end up in another area. Yay! <laughs> I 
I never keep track of how much, of how, how full is, is all the attack orders of the long sword whenever I hide the screen. I still like fighting it with, without the screen, makes it more real. Though it's obviously fake. My shot is yellow? No, it's green. No, not gonna heal yet. Ah, oh, crap. One mil hit away from going to red. Crap. No, I probably should make it to the end of the series without fainting. I really hope so because I've completely lost track of how many faint counters I am in. Really, the last last time I fainted some episodes ago, I didn't really check the number, so I'm not really sure if it's c correct. Um, this game is such a lovely chance. Two mega potions, one wheat stone, and let's go after it. Fail. No, this is what I wanted. Oh crap. That's why I brought up Psycho Serum. Okay. Paintball, paintball, paintball. <laughs> Why is there still painted? Guess now they just stay in the map even a even after the t painting timer w goes off. That's when you think. Ah! There goes a the tree. I probably lost all my charges on the long sword. Come on, gotta, gotta start by getting this full one more hit. Mm -hmm. This guy just being unfair to me. Yeah, finally got it all. One combo in. One huge hit out. There goes the charge without warning. Why do I keep thinking this is like, like, uh, yeah, like, mo like Monster Hunter Three? I keep forgetting to have to fill that bar again, like a Monster Hunter Three Night. Support and fairness don't want to faint. Don't come after me, don't go after me. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Exit, exit. This way, this way. Crap, where's the exit? Here! <laughs> Guess I didn't have to leave after all. Maybe we should start bringing some beefs or steaks with me. Why did, now why did I say beefs? Because I've been playing too much Minecraft. Tail! Just a stagger. Okay, let's, let's go after the red damage. 
Where can I get a combo in? No. No. How much health does this guy have? It doesn't usually last this long. How long? Long is actually nice. Actually, it's a rarity below the super overpowered switch ha switch axe I have, but it's still a level higher than all the other weapons. So it really is a what? That's it. I'm flashing you. Now stay put. Hmm. Great, even better. Okay, managed to get the tail. This is really the only reason why I flashed this guy. No. Okay. <laughs> now that was just now that was just plain lucky. Okay, two hits and I can go for the charge. Two more hits. Come on, aren't you gonna get tired again? At least, at least get out of rage mode. This turn is annoying me. So get out of rage mode, not get out of here. Oh. Now I wonder what kind of skills the Narc Armor is gonna have. I'll be sure to show it before the video ends. I'll probably be farming the Nargakuga Armor till the next episode, so... I just love the Nargakuga Armor. My best set at Monster Hunter Unite was full high G level Narga Kuga with a Rayfellows. Um, what do you call it? No, this is a Tronco. It's actually kind of Latin for chest, but the chest plate was made out of Rayfellows. And I specifically made the jewels so that I could have Evade Distance, Evade Plus 2, and. What's it called again? Okay, the skill that's been modified because it was too good. It made every single unsheet attack critical. And I would use that with a great sword made out of Tigrex parts, which has... Uh, is there a Tigrex in this game? Yes, there is a Tigrex in Monster Hunter Freedom Free. Or part of the free, by that matter. Um, as we all know, it has negative sharpness. Uh, negative affinity, I mean. So making every single, s and it has negative sharpness, but it had purple sharpness, which is the highest level and a very very high damage. So I basically just criticaled everything. It was really an overpowering weapon. The final quest, which was called Monster Hunter in the game, has fight an Argakuga, a Tigrex. A Diablos and what am I missing? I'm sure it's one of those those three. Oh, and a Rajang. Uh, all in the same quest, and for that, for that, I had to use that. I had a set that specifically made for it. So actually, I made this set when I was. Oh, come on. Actually, I made the set when I was fighting the Golden Rajang, which is kind of annoying. The super, super Saiyan Rajang. Uh, but I used that set for that. In this game there's also going to be an end quest. I've already seen it since it's always with the granny. The, or the village elder. Uh, it's never in the quest. The true ending quest. 
so it, although it may look like a normal difficulty one it's actually going to be the hardest of them all it has me fight let's see if I remember now could could be wrong could be but it it involves a tigre okay not sure probably I think it's just three of them not four of the four I'm gonna say I'm gonna fight a devil joe for sure and possibly a berry of a tigrex and an argicuga two out of those three if I remember really out of stamina well, that is just unfair I even jump out of there so that will be the quest that will end this game but still not gonna have to think about it yet I'm still probably gonna show some epic quests which gonna have me face like two or three monsters at the same time some truly epic quests was for example when I had to face three Narukugas just to get a drink that was completely useless I mean most of the drinks had me fight stuff like free no, free Nargas, free Rajang, no, not free Rajang, free Jinogas, and there was also another one f make me f made me fight three of those fire guys, not Yurgen, the other one, really forgot his name again. Okay, I'm probably about time to finish this. <laughs> Now that was the most awesome dodge I made in all this fight. Really, some others were okay, but this one was awesome. It, it might have just saved my life. It was a lot of damage. <laughs> nope. I'm here, but you can't hit me. Always jump to the side opposite to his arm if you're right in front of him. That way you can avoid his frontal charge. Really? What? Where were you? Where were you aiming? You can do it right in front of him. So I don't know really where he was aiming. I don't even have a cat here. Okay, got it. Yes, got a break on the arm. Right afterwards, I was about to say that I didn't get a break on the arm. It broke. And we're done here. Now, got every single break out of them. Now, let's just score this guy and go back home. Okay, so we took time to, time needed to fight the Narukuga, 25 minutes. Time needed to fight the Bulldrum, 2 minutes. Preposterous the difference between high level monsters. Now, let me just show you everything. Everything's been upgraded to the max. The talisman is completely stupid because there haven't been any, a single good talisman. I haven't got a single good one. The best I have right now is Rarity 3 that has plus. No, Rarity 4 that has plus 9 fire resist, but I'm not gonna need that against this guy. I pretty much uh, had to choose this, a talisman just getting abilities, so I got Huntsman Life, just get the whole map. <laughs> Nothing else. Concentration, item use up, and the negative guard. Yeah, I might show you all the talismans I've got so far. <laughs> Now the pelt, tail spikes, wings, fangs, fangs, wings and pelt. Rank up! Now let's see what everyone has to say in Japanese, obviously. Don't really care. Okay. So what do we have here? Arakuga, Raytheon, Angratora, Haprobaka, Volatile Local Locali. Really? Again. 
Green Nargakuga. Yeah, I, I, I was so obsessed about the vo volatile local I didn't notice the Nargakuga was green. Red Kropko. Rokuzugi Gnox. Ice Sparrow. And another volatile local. Three Nargas and. What's this? A Thunder Gignox. No, let's just show you some of the dream quests. Free Agnectors, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, some of these are actually quite hard, and the drinks themselves are completely useless. I mean, just look at these, these drinks. Best ones I have this mental low, low chance of getting another extra car, but for Lucky Cat, Philanthropy Pist gets more money, but other than that, all other skills of, except for the first one are completely random. So, for example, I have heroics and stuff. Let me just go see the Nargakuga armor. Let me just... Okay, it's a Devil Joe Tigrex and the Nargakuga. Don't care what you have to say. Although I did enjoy what you just gave me. Now let's see. We have sense, stamina, no, negative stamina and evade distance. Oh, an invasion. So exactly what I wanted. Evade distance up and evade plus two. Although what's, what's sense again? Sense? Yeah, sense is not getting hit by anything, but the negative stamina is really going to ruin my day. Now let's upgrade. <laughs> 26,000, almost 27,000 Yakumo opponents. Mining point plus 3, rare perfume. And with this, Yokomo Scarecrow award for getting every single farm upgrade. And there's the final mining point, right on the top. I have to go through another tier of, of ladders. I wonder if this character was actually here. And here's the scarecrow. He was already here, wasn't he? <laughs> here's a nice percentage of how many wep how many times I use my weapons. Notice that the lance was only used once, and it was the episode where I fought the Giganox, the, no, the Ginoga, and utterly lost. So after that I completely did not use the lance. So I need to use it once before trying it out for real. Other all other weapons I sporadically use. Bog Bogans are gonna have their moment right about now. When we get to to the f end of the game, they really become the best weapons. My cats and my awards, and here's the scarecrow. What else? Beginners. Oh, I, I, I never went here. Never seen this before. Ah, I was seeing how you unlock these guys. Something like killing twenty something, killing something twenty. That just makes me sad. Oh, I also want to see one other thing. Oh, here it is. I mean, how much are they? A hundred of each type. First page one. Here we go. I've been getting a lot of crowns. I remember, I remember that Rurigan. And that purple royal Ludorov. And 21 Naga Kuga, so until only one capture. I don't really like capturing monsters. I use it only when I need to grind for... For example, the bear if I had to grind for him... No, did you know exactly? Hunted four ca capture all... Hunted three to get to weapon... Captured all three of them. Mm, didn't expect anything here, but now you're gonna use the rare perfume. Let me just see if I can find a new type of war, and then I'm gonna finish this episode. Now, this is high up. Terrible Thor, no. Turn it off, no. no. Uh, I didn't get anything new. This is disappointing. How am I supposed to end this episode like this?
I'll just send my cats into the tunnel. Let's see if they succeed. succeed. Off you go. And yes, I did just waste four mega pickaxes on this. And they completely failed. No, you did not do a good job. Oh, never, never mind what I just say. You gave me two carbolator. That's very good. This way they didn't go with me. Send them on a quest. Yeah, do I have now the new quest? Exactly. New quests. I can have them fight low level Diablos and low level Genogas and... I'll just get a lot of Diablos. Go fight this guy. I don't, I don't like fighting Diablos, so go after him. <laughs> okay, this just means that next time Okay, this sometimes really happens to me a lot. Notice how slow I'm moving. For some reason, my f the frame rate really goes down a lot when I do this. It just notice how slow. Okay, here's my little frog. My, my talismans. Want to show? Okay, should have done this. This is the best one I've got. This, no, this one here. But other than that, every single talisman just sucks. I don't like any of them. That's such great. You can get such great talisman as, as soon as you get to the high-level quests in Monsters Under Three. But here, I was at the end of the game. I have yet seen a decent talisman. Hope, hope that now that I can go to the volcano, they start getting better. Just go go quick through, quickly through all my weapons. The overpowered weapon that's rarity six compared to rarity four. This one's rarity four actually. Four was rarity five. Other than that, nothing really else that's here. Something very cool. The equipment sets you can make here. They actually equip the. Um, the jewels there so for example imagine you have two sets that require the same jewels you can just put it in one and the next time you quit the other one so for example right now I have if I plus two and if I go and change into this set notice how it just equipped all my sharpening jewels and it took out the evade plus two and I'm gonna regret this because I'm gonna have to go from Norikuga's next so anyway, goodbye everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. Naku is my favorite monster and he's always quite always quite funny to fight. Why is the frog not going to my feet? No, that was slow. Bye.